right now at 5.30, it's campaign commercial chaos. If you think you've been seeing more of those political ads than you've seen before, you're right. Campaign spending in local political races has exploded this year. And as Scott McFarlane uncovered, the millions of dollars being spent are coming from everywhere but the Alleghenies. Right now, it feels like we're absolutely surrounded by political campaign commercials trying to swing our votes for the U.S. Congress or for governor. Those ads cost money, and in many cases, the people spending that money live far away and are completely unknown to us. We have seen more activity from outside groups in this election season than we've ever seen before. As expected, Joe Sestak and Pat Toomey are running a ton of TV commercials themselves. We can't afford Tim Burns. Joe Sestak, 100% Pelosi. But these groups have spent nearly $10 million on this race, too. You've probably heard of some of them, but not all. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce, based in Washington, spent nearly a million dollars by itself. So we tracked down one of their executives today. If I'm in Pennsylvania, why should I listen to an outside group trying to steer my local vote? Well, you don't have to listen to any group. I mean, you know, everybody has a, a remote control. They can change the channel. And he says the chamber is focusing its ads against candidates who voted for the health care overhaul. Joe Sestak included. Other donors in local races, a group called Vote Vets. We looked into them. They're veterans of Iraq and Afghanistan who tend to support liberal candidates. The NRA, the Club for Growth, the D.C. conservative activist group also buying ads here. Not unbiased. You know who used to run the Club for Growth? Republican candidate Pat Toomey. A recent controversial Supreme Court ruling on free speech is what's opened the door this year for a surge of spending by outside groups, and it means... We're getting to a point where we're going to see political ads on SpongeBob SquarePants and Saturday morning cartoons. There's, you can't just ram them into, you know, there's almost not enough air time for all of them. These outside third-party groups also spending $3 million on the race for Pennsylvania's 12th U.S. House District between Republican Tim Burns and Democrat Mark Chris. Scott McFarland, WJAC-TV News. Now, aside from political ads, something else is heating up in the race to midterm elections.